This is tutorial number 14 and it covers how to use the sweep feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now to use the sweep feature, what you need to make is a profile and you need to make a path for it to follow. So to start off, let's make the profile. Let's use a circle and let's just draw it out and let's dimension the circle. Let's make it 25 mils. Now click return. Now let's rotate this just a little bit. And we're going to have to use the XZ plane to draw our path for the profile to follow. So let's click sketch. And we'll zoom out a little bit. And we'll click line. Now click the center point of the circle and let's just draw a path for it to follow. Click return and we'll go to sweep. Now it's already selected the profile as, as it's the only profile there. Now we'll click the path, click OK, and you can see that from the circle that we drew it followed that path that we drew out all the way around. Now we can rotate this around and take a look at it. Now, right now it's solid and we can change it into piping. So let's open up the sweep feature. Let's delete it. Now uncheck this check mark here so the sketches stay. And we'll edit the first sketch. Click edit sketch. Click center point. And let's make another circle inside of it click return, we'll go to the sweep, and this time for the profile we'll select the outside, the red one there, and for the path we'll do the same path, click OK, and now we've swept with the open profile there, so it's piping all the way around. And you're also able to change the path too, so let's edit that. So let's open up the sweep, Let's edit the second sketch. Now let's delete this long line there. And this time let's make a curve. So let's click a point there, a point there, and let's make a curve. Now let's click update. And now our path and our profile have changed. So the profile that we made is now following that path and now it has a curve there. Now, like a real life thing that you could do is say you're making a roll cage or if you're making piping for something, all you have to do is create first a profile. So, you know, like the thickness of the piping that you're going to use, and then you can create the path where you want it to go around. And doing that, that's all you have to do, and then use the sweep feature, and you're able to make your piping that you need. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the sweep feature within Autodesk Inventor.